Okay, I pray that the Holy Spirit of God will lead us and guide us in all truth and understanding. I have a message today from our sister Julie Webby from I'm calling you now.blogspot.com On earth as it is in heaven. Pray to grasp this understanding of the kingdom of heaven. The perspective I call you to walk in is not of this realm. When operating in my kingdom, what is hidden here in the natural becomes revealed to you. What appears impossible here is now possible. The finite and the bound are infinite in me. The lack you see becomes abundant. Imprisonment and slavery become liberty. Defeat is now victory. That which appears closed will be open with the keys that I have given to you. Death is mortality transformed to immortality. Those called fools here go on to confound the wise. That which is discarded in the natural, those things considered not valuable, manifest as treasure in my kingdom. All that is called ugly here I will make beautiful. The outcasts are welcome and the strangers embraced. Bitterness and unforgiveness become unconditional love. Those scarred by this life I will make whole. Hearts crushed and broken I restore from the ashes. Pain and suffering disappear as I replace them with comfort and my perfect peace. Your sorrows will turn into joys and your mourning into dancing. Mockery and scorn have no place, replaced with only kindness, acceptance, and praise for me as creator of all. Darkness is flooded by my light. It is my kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. Embrace this perspective because this is your reality. My kingdom, your home for eternity. Pray for the wisdom to resonate with this, and it will be given to you. Then you can endure all things for the sake of my glory. Jesus Christ, Yahushua. I will exalt you, my God and King. A Psalm of Praise of David. I will exalt you, my God and King. I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you, and I will praise you, your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. One generation will commend your works to the next, and will proclaim your mighty acts. The glorious splendor of your majesty, and I will meditate on your wondrous works. They will proclaim the power of your awesome deeds, and I will declare your greatness. They will extol the fame of your abundant goodness and sing joyfully of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love and devotion. The Lord is good to all. His compassion rests on all he has made. All of you made will give you thanks, O Lord, and your saints will bless you. They will tell you, they will tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. To make known to men your mighty acts and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord, the Lord is faithful in all his words, and kind in all his actions. The Lord upholds all who f fall, and lifts up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you, and you give them their food in season. You open your hand, and satisfy the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways, and kind in all his deeds. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call out to him in truth. He fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cries and saves them. The Lord preserves all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. My mouth will declare the praise of the Lord. Let every creature bless his holy name forever and ever. Amen and amen. All glory to God. As with every word, go in your prayer thoughts and sing confirmation from the Holy Spirit of God. And we ask Father God in heaven, Place this holy fire hedge of protection round about you and your family on all sides, far above you and far below you. I pray he would cover your home and your vehicles, your places of work and worship, your pets and provisions, your children, their schools, and their daily activities. I pray he would wash you all clean with the blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ, for the, we are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I pray all this to my Father in heaven in the name of his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our living Lord and Savior. Amen and amen.